Yo, this is Spiritual Goddess back with another video. First off, I would like to say thank you for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate it. Remember, this is why I keep it real, raw, and uncut, and I keep it a buck. If you don't like cash, man, so you can always exit stage love because nobody's forcing you to be here. My name isn't Ike. Yours isn't Tina, baby. This is not a bake shop or a bakery. So nobody's forcing you to eat the cake and a may. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, thank you for all of your love and support. Let's see who needs this message. Most importantly, the first card out. Water signs. What's up? What's up, water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's good? Let's see. What's tea around y'all? Ooh, dang. Y'all be tight. Loose lips, shakes, sh sink ships. So somebody is talking shit around y'all. Loose lips, sink ships. <laughs> a broke ass. <laughs> it's a broke ass. It's a broke ass around y'all talking shit. Hold up. They said, give me more on this. We'll see. It's a broke ass that's always partying, talking shit. So loose lips sink ships. What's that about, spirit? So this broke ass who's always partying got the nerve to be running their fucking mouth. Like that's just like what is given. What is they saying? What's going on? <laughs> they want a second chance. How? Give me more on this energy. Too many. Boom. You got realizations. So you got a second chance. Realizations. So, infinites. Understanding, awakening, chasing. In reverse, though, y'all. So, in reverse. Um, pursue toxicity, resentment. So somebody doesn't want to be chased in loose, elusive. Dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Yeah. So you got this always partying broke ass person who wants a second chance with you. So I'm guessing they're drinking themselves to death right now. And I'm not saying to death, but like they're overdoing their part. I don't mean like literally to death. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. But I mean like they're over indulging into liquor and drugs so to say and pretty much blow all their money on it like i don't know it's like it's maybe because this person is some sort of depressive state of mind because this second chance is no longer an offer you want to accept or an offer you're willing to even entertain because you didn't went through so many awakenings. You have ascended so far, water signs, that you now realize that this toxicity and a motherfucker chasing behind you, 333, three, three, is not where it's at. That's not how you show love. That's not how it's supposed to be reciprocated. And that's just not what you're looking for. That's not how you want the pursuit. That's not how you want someone to pursue you. And then again, you're no longer accepting these lies, trickery, deceitful ass energies no more. Reject it. So again, this person is still in this energy and you are coming to a realization that hell no. Nah. Hell to the motherfucking no. Nah. I don't want this person, spirit. I want something better. I don't want this person that's always partying. I don't want this person who values being indulging in drugs more than having something that's worth long putting in and investing, you know, something that's actually worth investing into. And it's like, you realize that that's not, that's not what you want to do no more. You are so past that. Let's clarify this life situation with the clarifying. What is these called? Clarifying life situations. Okay. Let's see. Give me more on this. Energy spirit. It says, Bill of Illusion. Lift the Bill of Illusion, seeking the truth beneath the surface to navigate through love and career authentically. So again, you have 
taking off the love goggles, what they what they call them, love goggles. You took those off, the love glasses. You moved the love veil from over your eyes. You see clear now. It's like no more of this love bombing me. It's, it's not going to work anymore. I am past that. And what I want is something real. I want real, real, a real loving connection. Something very authentic. And again, dreaming and imagining, bringing your powerful vision into reality. Dream Weaver. So again, you are manifesting someone completely fucking new. <laughs> that shit is funny. <laughs> So, it's like while this person is sitting over here hoping and praying for you, and here you is. You want something bigger and better. Some Somebody that's really going to step and I feel you. Like, I'm with you on that. Um, On me. I'm with you on that. It's like, you're not even thinking about this loser anymore. <laughs> like, you legit is not thinking about a loser anymore. This is a loser energy. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, man. I don't even know what I want to ask. But again, <laughs> it's a loser. 622. They're toxic as fuck. So it's nothing to even say. It's nothing to ask, I'm guessing. Because this person is very toxic. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But yeah, they're involved in extracurricular activities that lead them tied to their addictions bound to their addictions again this person is wrapped up into something very much deeper and sinister than you know they are off their wagon so to say <laughs> um and then their money's is it's something with their money not being intact that's what's also a very trick it triggers them it, it pulls out a toxicity. It pulls out something very toxic out of this person. I'm, try, I'm trying to tell you. When this person's in that state of mind of being very frugal and they have to pull back and they can't do what they want, this is when they act out, so to say, like, they be try to fight you type shit or, like, lash out at you because their shit is not together, this type of energy. So, yeah. Stay the fuck away from this person. Yeah. What's the second chance? What the fuck do they want? Again, spirit has called judgment on this energy because you know better. That's what I'm hearing. You know better. It's like this person has burnt you umpteen times and it's like possibly you are also involved in this lifestyle as well not saying that you were drinking but you were partying you were enjoying life as well to the point where you were getting sucked into those toxic traits habits you know what i'm saying and you had to pull yourself out of that shit again you had to pull yourself out of that it's ace of wands you knew that you have so much more potential than this shit. 833. Again, calling judgment on that shit because you know your worth. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What's the problem here? Because it's over. Death. You can be there with a Scorpio. It's over. Three major arcanas have came out. The devil, the judgment card, and the death card. This shit is a fucking wrap. It's like the minute you started involving yourself into this toxic shit, it was like the minute your spirit team came and gave you some sort of near-death experience or gave you some sort of intel or as to where your life would be if you continue down this path. And at that moment, you flip the switch and, nope, I'm over it. It's like you, again, awakening. You had some sort of epiphany, something something that just said, hell no. I'm trying to tell you. Hell 
fucking know. And at that moment, you regretting another opportunity if this was, if you were to end this situation. I'm recording. Okay, let me finish recording my phone now. And then that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. And I was just saying, you could be dealing with a Scorpio and my Scorpio nephew just walked in. So again, there is something with you ending this situation calling calling judgment on this situation and getting that second chance it's like source gave you a new start once you realize how bad you had got attached to this karmic this trauma bonding karmic pretty much that's just what it was what is this realization damn <laughs> I couldn't even get it out because I'm telling you, it was quick. It's like you learned your lesson fast as fuck, water sign. It's like literally going into the kitchen as a kid and you know if you touch a stove and you know that ice is hot and you touch that fire, it's hot. Your mama say, don't touch that shit. 11 11. And you never do that shit again. It's literally like a kid learning just that fast. You know, like how, how hot fire is. It's something quick. Not something that's going to take a long time for you to get over. Like, you know, I told you, as it put your helmet on, you might fall off that bike if you keep riding that way. If you keep trying to do some shit you don't know how to do. And you don't listen and keep falling. And eventually, you're going to hurt yourself. Fall off that shit because you're not listening. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you, you took what God gave you and immediately did the work. I'm trying to tell you. The two of wands with the hermit on me. Self-discovery. It's like you literally did the work. You did the work. You invested in yourself. You did that. You did that. It's like... You took the time to reevaluate the things that god was already putting in front of you the signs of synchronicity god was already showing you so you took the time the patience into really evaluating those downloads that you were receiving those that, that and that's how you got to this point i'm telling you this is how you got to this this point where you didn't miss shit at this what spirit was trying to tell you it's like you took it you did the work you changed it it's like you're not allowing shit or nothing else to get in the way of or to ever pull you back to this state. The fuck? Again, you don't want to be bound or tied to any fucking thing that no longer serves you. So you're not even playing with this type of energy no more or anything that's like it or of it. It's like you immediately push that shit out, um, cut the cord on it and... It's in the past. It's done and over with. 13, 13. It's like you don't even hesitate on it. Again, I'm trying to tell you. It's like water signs like, fuck that. I am not going back there. I know what I know what that place was with this person. And I definitely don't want to go back to this imbalance. Back and forth. Juggling. Yeah. Just going with the flow of this person's bullshitting, bullshitting ethics. And I think that's what landed you in this devil energy. You were just going with the flow. Not speaking up. Not really saying anything. Just literally going with the flow. 2-2 two, two could be significant. Or one twenty two, January 22nd could be significant. Well, is that a Capricorn or is that crossing over to Aquarius? But January 22nd could be significant. Or the 13th. Or the night. What's the cause of this? I'm telling you, this person was very controlling. They was very controlling. So they probably just literally persuaded you or kind of pushed you into doing some shit. Or kind of just push it in your, put it in your fucking face. I ain't gonna lie to you. This person was very, very manipulative. It's like, how, how can I put it? Like, you don't really want to be with me if you don't do this type shit. 
Queen of Cups in reverse. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. You don't want to be with me type shit. Um, my bad, y'all. You all could be dealing with a Taurus, but it's like if you don't want to be with me if you don't do this type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, really trying to manipulate you into doing some shit, into being with them the whole time. That, that shouldn't even have to be a motherfucking issue or a, a factor at this point. Um, it shouldn't be nothing along those lines. And it's like this person was very unreasonable with their antics. This was real way off with this father right under the devil card, the page of swords, father right under the devil card. This person was very impulsive and immature. Um, yeah. Ugh. Give me more on this. Again. And it's 1544. And just because you were going with the floor and not saying anything and just just trying to, I, I don't know if it's like just catch a vibe or just trying to show that you're not, you're not like a Debbie Downer or whatever that is or I'm not too above this. Like I can party and vibe or whatever this shit is. Um, you didn't want this person to think think that or whatever, but that's why. Because you had lack of foresight, spirit called judgment on this. It's like your team came in to show you exactly what would happen if you didn't. It's like they gave you, they call judgment. They call judgment on this shit. To wake your ass up. And I don't know if it's a near death. Give me more on this. Because you were stuck. I'm trying to tell you. Five of Wands to the Ace of Swords. So I'm getting this like. When this person possibly took you out to a gathering. A party of some sort. That's when you realized that 1711. That you were not the only person that this person was fucking with. Or dealing with. Or possibly entertaining, you know, doing all this shit with, like, there is a lot of people that should, like, it's just, you just realize that this is not the vibe for you. Not the community of people that you want to be into. Oh, me. It's just, like, you realize that that's just not the, that's just not the, the community, community of, of. People I want to be around, the chaos that I want to um, involve myself with, or the type of experience I want to have with life. What's the outcome for this situation or the solution? Not allowing no one to bully you into bullshit. So this person that's coming back, you have to stand your ground. Yes. And this is spirit saying you have to find peace within. Yeah, you have to you have to you have to stand your ground and not not lose not lose the whole point that you know everything that you work so hard to get to. Not losing your morals, your dignity, your, you know, everything that you worked so hard for, falling around in this summer car, everything that you worked hard for, your ego depth, your realizations, the hard work that you put into, you put into yourself. And it's like spirit doesn't want you to lose that. So when this person tries to come back to offer you whatever this shit is, you need to find balance and push this shit away. I'm telling you, reject the fuck out of this person. This person needs to be rejected. I'm telling you, because you have something more and better. New opportunities to come. The minute you reject this shit, this person wants some sort of false ass commitment with you. But it, it's not like it's something that's longevity. They don't see anything longevity. This person is a fucking cheater. A the Pentacles. Yeah, they have no real work ethic as in relationships. Really, they have really no real ambition behind this person. Like this person is so many other options out there in this person's mind. Like they're gonna continuously put you in 
um, third party situations make you continuously fight for that love. And source says you're so much work, you're so much more than that. Close this cycle out and walk away. I'm trying to tell you are the signs and walk the fuck away from this person who acts as if they are some sort of hot shot. They a big boss ass energy the whole time. You, this person is more, more worried about partying and what's in their pockets and it ain't shit they don't even have shit because their priorities are fucked up you're dealing with somebody whose priorities are fucked up and what source don't want you to do is lose your vision stay on this journey that you're on if you have separated yourself from this person continue to separate yourself and continue to move towards the light and don't allow this person to suck you back into where you don't need to be so you could be dealing with a Libra who's born on the 11th, October the 11th, or you're dealing with a Scorpio who's born 11-10. You could be dealing with a Pisces born on <clears throat> um, July 3rd. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Did I just say Pisces? I don't know. I'm thinking Pisces. Cancer. Oh, my God. Cancer. <laughs> Cancer that's born July 3rd, or you're dealing with someone who's born um, 3-7, March 7th. And again, you could be dealing with a Libra who's born on the 6 10 6, or you're dealing with a Gemini who's born 6 10. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate it. Namaste.